Hi, it's Larry Fobbs, and thank you very much for watching this video because we're talking about keto. What is it all about? This particular product for sure is a Keto Gen 4, and that is what I like to talk about. Also, when you purchase this, you'll be part of a Facebook group because you're not alone in your keto journey. You'll be able to compare results, see what kind of results everyone's is having, and also you'll be able to contact people in the Facebook group to see how they're doing, ask questions, what happened. We also have a board of certified doctors that is behind this product. So now today we're talking about the whoosh effect. What is that? People say, okay, well, I'm not losing weight. I see the plateau, what have you, what's going on here? And we tell everyone, it's the whoosh effect. If you don't know what it is, stay tuned to the following video after this one, because Jonathan is gonna tell you what the whoosh effect is. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the inside. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today's video is actually gonna be something you've probably heard of before. Yeah, you're right, it's the whoosh effect. Okay, so let's get started. I'm sure you heard about it in a lot of forums or whatever. You're probably saying, what is the whoosh effect? Okay, so let's try to do something to clear this up, you guys. So first of all, what the whoosh effect is, in the best way possible that I know how to explain it to you, basically your fat cells, when you're in ketosis, are emptying. All the molecules and the fat cells are kind of dissipating out of there, but you still got this fat cell here. This fat cell, is kind of not really understanding what's going on. So you're drinking excess amounts of water. Usually that is going to be stored inside that fat cell for kind of like a placeholder. It's holding its place so that it knows it's going to have that fat cell open for when that fat comes back. If that fat doesn't come back in the form of carbs and sugar or glycogen or whatever, well then eventually, eventually it's going to release all of it and it's actually going to dissipate, completely eliminate that fat cell and it's not no longer gonna need it. But, of course, you're probably wondering, well how do I know if that's happening? What are the signs of it? And everything like that. Okay, so first good tell all is, are you following everything right? And I'm gonna run through five things real quick, but is the scale not moving? That's the most important thing. The other things are, are you following your meal plan strictly? Are you consuming your water? Are you in ketosis? Are you actually testing for your strips? If you're, in, if you're on any kind of low carb regimen and you're searching to go into ketosis and you don't have the strips, Come on guys, oh, I got a cool tip for you by the way. Um, somebody actually said this last night, cool little ketosis hack. When you get the strips, the long little strips, cut them in half because you're gonna test regardless. Personally, I feel like uh, the bigger square would be a better judge, but hey, if you're looking to save a couple bucks, obviously cut them right down the center and that's actually a good tip. So if you're in ketosis, if you don't, by the way, if you don't have the strips, get them. I'll put them in the link description below. Go take, they're like six bucks for like 150, you guys. There's no excuse, come on. If your energy is up, you're on a strict meal plan, you're following your meal plan, you're following your meal plan, you're drinking lots of water, you, and you're not losing weight, do not get discouraged, you guys. A lot of the times, this could be the whoosh effect. Your body is storing, 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 storing. It doesn't know if it's okay. Of course, it's gonna happen different levels and different times for everybody's body, depending on what you were eating, of course. Yeah, a lot of our bodies would probably whoosh at the same time if they were being fed the same things. A lot of us, that's just not gonna happen. That's not possible, that's not how it was. So definitely keep that in mind. Do not get discouraged. Hide your scale. A lot of the times, like Debbie hid her scale for an entire month, and it worked out really good for her. If you're doing all those things, you're following your meal plan, you're in ketosis, and you're actually testing, actually testing, you guys. A lot of people are like, well, I don't know if I'm in ketosis, I'm doing everything right. Dude, <laughs> you need the sticks or else you don't know what you're doing wrong or right. That's literally your gauge. That's like walking up to a pool and saying, yeah, that pool needs chlorine. Did you test it? No, I just know. You don't know because there's 15 chemicals that it could possibly need. There's 
15 possible things that you could be doing wrong with your diet or your meal plan or your water intake or uh, your artificial sweeteners. There's just so many things that you could alter or do or your portion control is too high or too low or whatever. You guys, so definitely do not guess, but also do not get discouraged if you're not losing weight, but you're seeing all of those things happen. You're, you're not losing weight, but you're drinking your water, you're staying on a strict meal plan, your energy is up, you're in ketosis. If all those things are okay, then you're okay, you guys. Just relax. Don't get discouraged because I promise you the whoosh effect will not come grant you weight loss if you screw up and eat bad. You guys, if you're new here,